So this is an overview of File Director. File Director is a document management system, which means that if you have tens of thousands of documents and you want to keep them all in the same place, you'll be able to find them again within seconds at any time you like in the future. The way File Director works is made up of filing cabinets. These are kind of ring-fenced areas of information. Uh, typically a company would have one filing cabinet, but if you have multiple companies in your organization or you specifically needed to ring-fence some information, then a, a separate cabinet would be ideal. We have a cabinet for click to scan. If I click into that, the next thing I have down here is a drop down for document types. So you can have as many document types as you want, and these are basically um, ways of you sort of splitting out where you're going to find your information. So, for example, if I wanted to find a purchase invoice, I'll click into my purchase invoices tab. I've then got some search fields here or index fields which are particularly relevant to an invoice. So, I've got our accounts reference number, I can have a drop down list for the suppliers. Um, I could have the date, the invoice number, but if I wanted to find, say, a supplier's statement, typically what I'm going to need is the supplier's name and the date. If I wanted to create some document types for my clients, so it could be client contracts or in our case client correspondence, I click into this, I have the client's name, the date, some details of what the correspondence was, and our own reference number. Again, these fields can be named to whatever you want and you can have as many or as few as you need. So how this works is if we wanted to find an invoice, I could type in a reference number, click the search button, and the document comes up down here. So if I double click into that, it's a TNT invoice, I can see it on screen here. Now I can kind of zoom in and have a look at the detail of it. Typically once you've got a document up on screen, it could be a delivery note or it could be something that somebody's phoned you about, you can right click and you can email the document on to somebody you could uh, save it onto your desktop. Um, alternatively, you could print the document, you can right click and print it. The other way that we can uh, find information is through the content. So for example, if I wanted to uh, find something with the word parenting in it, but the only thing I knew was that it was actually an invoice, I can type into the full text search button here, parenting, click search, and a document comes up down here in the hit list. Go into this, and I can see that um, there should be a word parenting highlighted. So full text search is particularly useful if you have lots of contracts or client information and you know there's a particular word or phrase that you're looking for but you can't remember where you know what the index information was then full text search is really useful. So the next part of the demonstration is to look at how we get documents into file director. Now one of the really neat features is the fact that it has built-in scanning. So it doesn't matter whether you want to control a little desktop scanner or a heavy duty scanner. All you need to do is uh, put a piece of paper into your scanner, click the scan button, and we'll see how we can quickly capture an invoice in a second. So there's a scan of an invoice. It's just gone through in a little desktop scanner. The next thing we would need to do is manually index it. who the supplier is, today's date, we use the picker, the invoice number, and here's where we can zoom in on the screen up here, look, just zoom in on that area there, 4023420, and we might want to zoom down into the area to tell us how much the invoice was as well, 20285. OK, and then we just save the changes. And then we check the document into the server. If I right click, check in. Now that document is pushed up to the server no matter where the server is in the world. And anyone else can now find that document. There's also another way that we can get documents into the system. We can right click on any document that we have. We can just go right click, send to, file director. This brings up an indexing box. Now what I'm going to do here is show you how easy it is to link file director to a database. So for example, if we were trying to archive a sales invoice and we knew the sales invoice number was say 5696, when I hit return this time, it pre-populates all of the other information for me. What it's done here is quickly looked up in the database and the account system what the sales invoice number 5696 is and it's come back and said it's from Canatech Limited from the 13th to the 3rd 2013 and our own reference number is this. If I now click on OK, there's the document there. If I right click I can now push it up to the server. 
if you're working in a Word document, File Director puts icons into uh, uh, Microsoft Word. So if we were to click the File Director icon here, and I wanted to put this contract spec into our client correspondence, I click the File Director icon, it brings up the indexing box, I choose the correct document type, key in some information, click OK and off I go. That same icon is in Microsoft Outlook, so if you have any uh, emails that you want to archive, the same principles apply. OK, another really nice feature of File Director is it has a process approval or workflow module. This means for our document here, see our TNT invoice, we might need somebody to approve it. So I can right click on the document, I can send it to a process. I have approved a process up here of invoice approval. Double click on this and I could add a comment, say please check, click OK and OK. Now the user, uh, in this case it will be Martin, is asked to approve the document. So Martin, when he logs in, he has a task list which gives us a kind of uh, uh, any documents we have to act on over here on the right hand side. But if I click on process status, we can now see that this uh, document is waiting for Martin, uh, File Director Martin user, to take action. So File Director isn't just for Windows users, it can also be used by anyone with a Mac um, or an iPad or an Android device because it's available in a web browser. So for example here, this is the click to scan uh, web version and if I click into um, search to choose a cabinet, I'll click the click to scan cabinet. And then I'm presented with all of the uh, document types I had a moment ago in the Win client. So for example, if I wanted to find that purchase invoice where we had the invoice number KF05091, the TNT invoice, click search, the document's found, double click, and it pops it up on screen. So this means you can distribute File Director out to any of your colleagues across the company, provided they've got the right security um, credentials to access the document, they should be able to log in and uh, retrieve and view documents 